I'd like to do in this particular recording is look at some of the kind of the basic ways in which attitudes might be formed. And when I say attitudes, I sort of think, when I, when I first say that, when I first thought about it, I thought, right, this is about bad attitudes, right? But I want you to think as well on both the positive and the negative side, all right? So this is about the formation of all kinds of attitudes. So I suppose in sports, something like a good attitude would be characterised by what would we expect? We'd expect it to be characterised by things like persistence, by commitment, by enjoyment, all of those kind of things, right? Persistence, commitment, uh, motivation, enjoyment, all of those kind of ideas, right? Um, let's put enjoyment in there. Whereas if we just loosely look at a bad attitude towards sport and physical, physical activity, you know, we might be talking about things such as giving up, uh, or we, let's just let's put in quitting, uh, let's put into the equation something like a bad attitude might be something like avoidance, you know, thinking about um, perhaps people who might not take part in their P lessons, for example, I don't know if you have any examples of that. Uh, in your school or have you ever done that yourself so that might be something like an attitude that has been formed poorly for some reason um, and you might also say like a, a poor attitude for to physical, physical activity uh, goodness me physical activity might also involve things like you know low health levels right because physical activity produces all those health effects that we've talked about on many occasions so where are these good and bad attitudes coming from so I just kind of want to look at this idea of attitude formation and try see try to see if we can decipher why people will have such kind of extremely different perspectives and the first thing I want you to really kind of honor and to accept is that a lot of our attitudes